lemon curd. There's lots and lots of ways to make lemon curd, but this is how I make my lemon curd. I've got this book, which my best friend bought me for my birthday many years ago when I was farter. But anyway, this is uh, the recipe out of here. And it's got uh, eggs and lemon juice. So I've mixed my eggs and uh, the lemon juice and I've sieved them through a sieve to get all the bits out so it makes your lemon curd nice and smooth. Twist them together. Now I've got caster sugar. Well, I haven't got caster sugar. I only had granulated sugar. So good old Google. I went on Google for a substitute for caster sugar and came across how to make your own caster sugar from granulated sugar. So if you've got a coffee grinder or a blender, put your sugar in there and blend it up and then it'll make your sugar nice and fine and make it into caster sugar. So that's what I've done. So I'm gonna mix that in with my eggs and my lemon juice. Now I've got melted butter. That's going in as well. And then I've got the zest of three lemons. So that goes in as well. I'm going to give it a good old mix. Should have muscles like Anna carrying on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this with cling film. Now a good way to cut your cling film is if you keep it up straight, turn it down, it'll keep a straight line. Another little tip I learnt. So I put it on nice and tight. Put a few holes in the top and then I'm going to microwave this till it comes nice and thick. So I'll pop it in and we'll see what it looks like shortly. So my lemon curd has had bursts of about 45 seconds in the microwave. And each time I've whisked it up a bit till it started to go thick. And then what I've done, I've transferred it into a sterilised jar. It'll make a jar about this big, the recipe. So now it's gone cold and it's ready. I'm going to have a, a little wee taste. Mm. And it's got a nice tang to that. I'm going to put this in my lemon meringue cake. Oh, that is so good.